Next up, we have Has Been Hotel episodes one and two that were popped on Twitter. Apparently, it's an exclusive upload. Some people are saying it's a troll. Some people are saying it's not. I don't know. I don't know. All I'm going to say is it's something that I want to watch because I absolutely love Hell of a Boss and I remember uh, the, what was it called? Um, the pilot episode that they did for Has Been Hotel. It was really nice. It had the really good song Addict, which unfortunately you can't upload anywhere because DMCA is. I tried to upload it, but I couldn't. Uh, it's a really fun song. So in typical Hell of a Boss fashion, it's like an upside down Disney movie. It's got singing it's got princesses, it's got heroes, it's got drama, except it's setting hell. So it's basically, you know, a Disney movie divided by minus one. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Bento box? They're really going for that Japanese. Oh, that's a company. My bad. Okay, I have to pay credit to the fact that they're taking inspiration from what the angels are depicted to actually look like. Not in their human forms, but these multi-eyed, multi-winged, terrifying, hallucinogenic looking things. Fun fact, the mountain where Moses spoke to God and saw the burning bush actually has hallucin hallucinogenic Nick, yeah, has hallucinogenic berries around it. So if you actually go to that mountain, the berries around that mountain will make you hallucinate. I'm just putting that out there. I'm just, I'm just saying. Lucifer was one of these angels. He was a dreamer with fantastical ideas for all of creation. But he was seen as a troublemaker by the elders of heaven. For they felt his way of thinking was dangerous to the order of their world. Wait, his thinking was dangerous to the order of the world? You mean he started a rebellion with one third of the angels and wanted to claim the throne of God for himself? Yes, his thinking was dangerous to the order of the world. I mean, that guy was just doing a rebellion and trying to do an insurrection, but like, hey, dangerous to the order of the world. Let's just, let's just turn it down a little bit. So he watched as the angels began to expand the universe in their ways. From the dust of earth they created Adam and Lilith. Oh, I actually like that they went with the Adam and Lilith route. Because, you know, everyone's like, Adam and Eve is like, hang on, I think we're forgetting about Lilith here. Everyone forgets about Lilith. Who's basically the female version of Adam. And everyone's like, isn't that Eve? It's like, no, Eve is created from the rib of Adam. But like, anyway, let's not go there. Equals as the first of mankind. But despite this... Adam demanded control, and Lilith refused to submit to his will. She fled the garden. Drawn in by her fierce independence, Lucifer found her, and the two rebellious dreamers fell deeply in love. Together, they wished to share the magic of free will with humanity, offering the fruit of knowledge to Adam's new bride, Eve, who gladly accepted. But this gift came with a curse. For with this single act of disobedience, evil finally found its way into Earth. With it, a new realm of darkness and sin, and the order heaven had worked to maintain was shattered. As punishment for their reckless act, heaven cast Lucifer and his love into the dark pit he had created, never allowing him to see the good that came from humanity. Only the cruel and the wicked. Ashamed, Lucifer lost his will to dream. But Lilith thrived, empowering demonkind with her voice and her songs. And as the numbers of hell grew, so did its power. Threatened by this, heaven made a truly heartless decision. That every year they would send down an army, an extermination, to ensure hell and its sinners could never rise against them. But I mean, why is everyone questioning that? They did that in Egypt and no one batted an eye. But I love that they skimmed over the fact that it wasn't tempting mankind with the apple, but rather 
according to the stories at least, Lilith and Lucifer were having a thing. Lilith had many, many children, and God was upset that Lilith ran away, so he sent an archangel to get Lilith back. Lilith was like, no, I'm not coming back. And so the archangel actually killed Lilith's babies, which is why in Judaism and, you know, very old Christian customs, when a baby is born, you actually put little coins next to the pillow. It's a custom. Even in uh, Orthodox Christianity, we put money under a baby's pillow, you know? And, you know, socially, people are like, oh, you're giving some money to the family and the baby and whatnot. But that custom actually comes from the belief that Lilith would come to steal the child or kill the child, you know, to get the revenge on God and everything for her children dying. But if you leave some money, she'll take the money instead. So you're actually bribing Lilith. <laughs> I, I always find that funny. <coughs> so Lucifer was like cast out of heaven way before that, you know. And then he comes back into the garden masquerading as a snake. And then you've got Adam and Eve. And so they're basically naked and... Lucifer's like, hey, why don't you eat from that apple, you know, on that tree of knowledge? And Eve was like, all right, fine. She has the apple and then she gives some to Adam and Adam has some apple. And then all of a sudden in the bush, in the Garden of Eden, they're actually hiding. God like comes back. He's like, what's going on? Where's Adam and Eve? And they're hiding behind a bush. And God's like, why are you hiding behind a bush? And they're like, because we're naked. And God's like, w why are you hiding that? Did you eat from the tree of knowledge? And so they ate from the tree of knowledge, but they didn't eat from the tree of life. The apples of which grant you eternal life. They lost access and they kicked out of the garden, which is why humans died. But I, I like this abridged version. They're, they're painting Lucifer as this tragic philanthropist. <laughs> I love it. I love it. But then again, it's a story being told by hell, right? You know, history is his story. So it's all good. Bribing Lilith. Yeah, I'm just putting a quarter under the pillow. I know, right? It's like, ah, I want to get my revenge by taking your baby. Ooh, a quarter. Lilith's hope remained. And her dream was passed down to their precious daughter, the princess of hell. Mm. So that princess is actually Lilith's daughter because I knew her dad was Lucifer, but I didn't know who mommy was. But that does make sense. You'll make her proud? I think you're doing a horrible job trying to get people to be good. Charlie? Oh! Oh, shit! Did you hear all that? Uh, yeah. I was right there. Sorry. I get pretty worked up after an extermination happens. The story helps. <laughs> I know. Don't worry. I enjoy your theatrics. Are you okay? I'm fine. Just thinking, you know? Family stuff. Did you hear from your mom yet? has it been now? Not that long. Only seven years off doing something important, I'm sure. But this kingdom was something she really cared about. I like how they're sitting in the eye, the all-seeing eye. I love that. I love these little details. I love them. Can you turn on subs? I don't believe there are subs. Something I care about. Well, at least you aren't alone. I just hope what I'm trying to do here will work. It will. I have faith in you. All right, come on. Alistair says he has something to show us. Ooh, Alistair! I like Alistair. High execution of hell and head torturer. Love that guy. Wait, why does the clock have like a halo? Oh, it's like the countdown clock. Lilith stepping out for milk and cigarettes. <laughs> It'd be funny if that's actually what happened. Of course you do! That's why you're in hell! But what would you say if I told you there was a place to stay that had none of that? Welcome to the Has-Been Hotel, a misguided path to redemption! Founded five days ago by Lucifer's delusional daughter, Charlotte Morningstar! Come place your fate in her inexperienced hands as she tries to work through her daddy issues by fixing you! Beautiful. Here we offer fun things, such as somewhat functional staff and 24 hour pest control. Custom rooms and just look at this turkey parlor. Enjoy riveting conversation with our singular resident. Wow! All this and more at the Has Been Hotel. Your last desperate attempt at salvation starts here.
Or <laughs> call now or don't call. We still don't have a working phone. So, what do you think? I'm sorry. What the fuck was that? Uh, yeah. One note. Alistair, I mean... Wait, that's Alistair? I thought he was like the TV radio demon. Alistair's the radio demon? When did this happen? First off, thank you so much for making this seriously amazing. But, um, maybe the tone is a bit... Condescending? Off? We want people to want to come here. This makes it look, um... Bad. The word you're looking for is bad. Funny, I was going for hilarious. It didn't explain anything about how we're trying to save demons from extermination, which is the whole fucking point. Vaggy is right, Alistair. The commercial was to let sinners know we are trying to help them. Well, my dear, I haven't been active in hell for some time, and everyone remembers me from my radio show, the proper medium to express oneself. Wait, so Alistair wasn't doing his job, but instead ran a radio show. What? But you insisted on this noisy picture box advertisement, so I had a little fun with it. Oh, fun? You had a little fun with it? Well, this is not what we want to represent us. When you showed up here a week ago, you told us you would help run this hotel. Instead, you're mocking us. Nobody's gonna want to come to a place that a powerful overlord like you thinks is a waste of time. What? If and you're filming a commercial, can I suggest you take better advantage of that talented celebrity you have right here? Angel, you're a porn star. A famous porn star. I mean, celebrity. Eh. Would you sell for communal flashlight? Fleshlight, not flashlight. Ugh. I'll have the horniest sinners knocking these walls down to get in. We are not filming a porn as a commercial. Why not? Sex sells, don't it? I swear, if you film me going at it with Mr. Fancy Talk Creepy Voice here, you'd be rolling in participants willing to stay at this tacky hotel. You just know Alistair's like, yeah, you think you're going to be having fun, but no, you're going to be strapped down to a table and I'm going to be getting my... Well, he's probably got a lot of utensils. <laughs> never going to happen. Angel, I appreciate you wanting to use your special skills to, um, attract folks to the hotel, but I really don't want to exploit you in that way. Oh, please, baby. Yeah, exploit him. Baby, this body was made to be exploited. I got the arms, I got the stamina, I got the legs, I got the lung capacity. <laughs> oh, I got the legs, the gag reflex, the holes, the chest fluff, everyone has uh, that thought. Wait, Dad's like a little bird, what? I'll be right back. I Wait, why would you want a gag reflex in a porn star? Don't you want the opposite? Powerful, then why can't he just make people stay here? Oh, trust me, I can. Why do you think I'm here? You actually think I'd be cleaning bottles and listening to you fucks bitch and moan all the time if he wasn't forcing me? Is this the guy that voiced the president in Rick and Morty? Not in hell, they don't. They're degenerates. Oh. Big forest. Keep that to yourself. What? You don't love being here with me, Whiskers? Call me Whiskers again and I'll jam that bottle down your throat. Yup, it's the same VA. Kinky. Come on, keep talking dirty. <sighs> Angel, let Hus do his job. And no, we can't force sinners to stay here. They need to choose to. I'm choosing to be here, and I think it's all stupid. We're in hell, toots. That's kind of the end of the road, ain't it? Well, maybe it doesn't have to be. Just because nobody has made it out before doesn't mean it's not possible. Hey, whatever means I can keep crashing here rent-free. <laughs> Crack is expensive. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I, I can. Totally. Yeah, I'll head over there right away. Okay. You know, one thing I actually like is that Lucifer's just letting his daughter do her thing, but still checks in to make sure that she's all right. 
Like, he lets her loose, lets her make her decisions, lets her make her mistakes, but he still checks in to see if she's alright. Ironically speaking, he's probably a better dad than most humans. I'm just saying. Bro, yes. Yes. <laughs> what just happened in the video? What the hell's going on? What? No. Oh. There must be like an error. Does God check in on Lucifer? I don't think so. Well, God's kind of like an absentee landlord. He checks in every few thousand years. Occasionally, he floods the place, you know. What? <sighs> What's going on? My dad just called. He said that the leader of the Angel Army wants to meet. He asked if I could go instead. But... but... Wait, so... The leader of the Angel Army wants to meet with Lucifer. Instead, he's sending his daughter. That sounds dangerous. The extermination just happened. <sighs> what could they want this soon after- I can- Guys, look, it's a privileged white girl that lives in a bubble that has anything she could possibly want dreaming about, I don't know, telling other people to be happy and shit. <laughs> Hell's very own Disney princess. I say bravo. I say bravo. I love it. I love it. It's a good formula. Except Disney will never go there with things like this. So it's the perfect formula. It's like a pendulum. Every action needs an equal but opposite reaction. You've got Disney, which is popular for its singing and all its themes and everything. We don't have the polar opposite, which is just... Well, let's face it. This is pretty questionable content, but it's funny.
it's kind of weird, but it's it, it's got a church vibe, except the seats are looking backwards. They're not looking up to the altar. They're looking back towards the entrance. Or they, the seating could go both ways, but it's a bit... Eh? Wait, 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 no. You think I'd come down there? <laughs> no, I mean, I love the vibe. Totally. I love your tunes. Pretty fucking hardcore, don't get me wrong. But it's such a bummer, man. Everything down there is just so... Blah, you know? <laughs> you. Right. Wait, so they basically look like imps, except they're darker colored instead of red. And they're angels? So... I'm happy we got this opportunity to meet. There's a project I've been working on that I really want to talk to you about. Hey, 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 slow down. We got time. How about we get to know each other a little? Mm? How about some lunch? You hungry? Wait, did Lucifer just try to sell off his daughter to build relations with heaven? It's just like the aristocrats with the kings and the queens sending their daughter to get married with the opposing side to forge an alliance. I got you. Here's my personal favorite. You'll love it. Uh, thanks. <laughs> I got you again, bitch! <laughs> Fucking hilarious! <laughs> That's an angel. What a bag of dicks. Okay, so Charlie's dealing with something very important, so while she's gone, we are making a new commercial. One that represents her vision and what we're doing here. So, we need a camera. Alistair? A video camera. Uh, I love how he's trolling. All right, let's do this. And action. Welcome to the Has Been Hotel. Can I help you with anything? Well, I've been a bad boy, and I need a big, strong daddy to put me in my place. Oh, God, it's one of those commercials. On the path to redemption. I need you to be less horny, if possible. And Hus, can you maybe not have the script in front of your face? I ain't no actor. I can't memorize this shit. Well, we could improv this shit, baby cakes. <laughs> Whoops. Hus, come on. So I was playing this gig, and for some fucking reason, this virtue chick was digging on the drummer, and it's like, do you know who I am? I'm fucking Adam. I'm the original dick. Wait, you're Adam? All dicks descend from me. You think you want drummer dick? No way. I'm the dick fucking master. <laughs> so, anyway, and we fucked, and it was awesome. What'd you do this weekend? I can see why Lilith left. Wait, your name is Adam? Like the first man, Adam? That means you. Oh, that explains so much. I yeah, so that's why Lucifer doesn't... Oh, right. No, I fucking rock. Well, Adam, sir. Mr. Adam, sir. Wait, I thought you got kicked out of heaven. How the fuck did you get back in? Call me Dick Master. Adam, you seem like a smart... Well... I love the statue. It's one of the angels. Stand up, guy. Uh-huh. And I know you are the leader of the angels, and you are a big thinker, a revolutionary, a, a genius. I mean, your words, babe. Who would really love to put his name on something? Fuck it. Love putting my name on shit. Shit's the best. It's a solution to our biggest problem. Oh, herpes. Yeah, that's a bitch. <laughs> you motherfucker. No, our other biggest problem. Oh, uh, ugly people? 
I was going to say teenage pregnancy, but anyway. Math. Global warming? No, wait, that's Earth's problem. Um... Your line is, we have the cleanest rooms. You know, the irony is she's got one eye, so she doesn't have depth perception. No wonder she can't hit anything. Okay. Got it. I'm ready. Action. Huh? What the hell just happened? <laughs> How was that? Well, Nifty, you actually have to say the line. So, let's roll again. Okay. Action. Is she broken? You're doing great, Vagina. Cut! Alright, uh, maybe we can try to fix it in post. Do you even know what that means? I'll figure it out. Having a bit of trouble there. Mm -hmm. oh, I in there. Why are you even here? For the entertainment. I came here because I love seeing wasteful souls struggle to accomplish something meaningful and fail spectacularly. Like you are doing now. So I have a lot in common with Alistair. Good to know. Good job. And here is Alistair, the egocentric piece of shit that... Try that, my dear. This face was made for radio. <laughs> That's it. I don't care who or what you are. If you're staying here, you're gonna make this work. Because it won't be so entertaining. To watch over an empty hotel, will it, shit ass? Fair enough. I'll tell you what. Let's make a deal. <laughs> Oh no, 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 no. Do not, I strongly advise against it. And that stupid, making a deal with a demon like you? Not for your soul, just a simple deal. I do this for you, and you never ask me to engage with this frivolous television technology ever again. Why is he so against TV? Or Charlie can come back to absolutely nothing. Your choice. <sighs> Fine. What?
Daddy's gonna be mad. Okay, I'm just gonna put it out there. I never really liked the sing-along of Disney movies. It was like my least favorite thing ever. But I'm finding out that it has less to do with the singing and more to do with what they're singing about. Because I absolutely love these songs. Exciting to show you. Alistair pulled some strings and it's about to air. I pulled a few limbs too. <laughs> Wait, the commercial? You all made a new one? Yeah, one of my better performances, if I do say so myself. That's. That's amazing. Shh, it's starting. Welcome to the Hasbin Hotel. Oh, shit! Oh, oh, King News in hell today! We have just received word from the Heaven Embassy that the next extermination is happening sooner than ever before. Do you know what that means, Tom? No, what does that mean, Katie? It means we're all royally fucked. Wait, that's, um, Blitzo's VA. Oh, okay. Wait, so this is basically like NATO and Yugoslavia in the 90s. They're complaining that one of them would shot down, despite them killing literally thousands. We should just go down there now and destroy them. No, no. We can't risk them catching on. But don't worry. When we come back, there won't be a demon left alive to pull a stunt like this again. Hey, did I hand you a shrinking potion by accident? I... I could have sworn that was the gender swapping one. Don't be hating. She's fun sized, that's all. She doesn't even have to get on her knees to blow. You want to add anything to that conversation? Nope, I'm good. In fact, I think your new size makes you an even more formidable and stealthy ninja. 